The Davidic Covenant Shmuel Bet 2 Samuel 7 8 17 The Davidic Covenant is related to the covenants with Noach, Noah, Abraham, and Moshe, Moses. It specifically addresses the messianic kingship through the line of David. David has promised a house or a dynasty as king of Israel, and that his son Shlomo, Solomon, will build the house of the Lord, the temple, Mishkin. This throne of David will stand forever, and the people of Israel will dwell in their own land, undisturbed. Shmuel Bat, 2 Samuel 7, 8-17 The covenant has immediate and future messianic connections. Shlomo, a son of David, would build the temple, but the Messiah, a son of David, would rule over Israel in peace and security. The Davidic covenant established the continuation of the Torah, temple worship and the priesthood, as well as the covenant of Sinai, while leading into the messianic kingdom to come. But since this has been interrupted in history, it requires restoration, tikkun, and renewal. This restoration is described by the prophet Amos, who declares that after the the disposer of Israel, God Elohim, will raise up the tent of David and raise its ruins. This will restore the kingdom of Israel and include nations, Gentiles, who are called by God's name. Amos 9, 11-15 Israel will again be in the promised land and blessing and peace, and will never again be rooted out of the land. The Gospels claim that the beginning of this restoration is connected to Yeshua as Messiah and King of Israel. Mary and Mary is told that a son Yeshua would be great and that the Lord God would give him the throne of his father David and that he would reign in his kingdom over the house of Israel, Yaakov, forever. Luke 1, 26-33 In Acts, Luke explains how the response of the early Jewish disciples, Tabernam, to the Gentiles turning to the God, Elohim of Israel, through the good news of Yeshua is consistent with Amos' prediction. Yeshua, was, Yeshua would soon reign on the throne of David over the house of Israel, and that kingdom would include the Gentiles called by the Lord, Adonai. As a result, they gave certain commands to the Gentile believers that connected them to the Israel, yet maintained their Gentile identity. Acts 15, 13-21 The obvious conclusion is that the future holds a time when this will all be completed. Yeshua returned to Jerusalem, Jerusalem, and all of Israel, living and dead, will be gathered to the land of promise. Gentiles called by the Lord, Adonai, will be concluded in this regathering, and God's kingdom will be restored to Israel, Acts 1, 6. At that time, the Messiah will reign from Jerusalem upon the throne of David, and the Torah will go forth from to Zion, Zion, and the word of the Lord, Adonai, from Jerusalem. The nations will stream to the house of the God of Israel. There will be eternal shalom, and the nations will never again learn war. Yeshua Yahu, Isaiah 2, 2-4 Replacement theology adherents miss this covenant in their belief that the throne of David is in heaven. The Israel of God is the church, and the kingdom will not include a restoration of Israel in the land. They believe that God is finished with Israel, and that Israel is not a people before God, because they rejected Yeshua, Jeremiah, Yahu, Jeremiah. However, makes it clear that such will be fulfilled. The righteous branch of David will, will execute justice and righteousness in the earth, not heaven, and the throne of David will continue. Jeremiah Hu, Jeremiah 33, 14-18. Jeremiah Hu says that as long as the Noahide covenant remains unbroken, the fixed patterns of heaven and earth, so too the Davidic covenant will remain unbroken, and those who reject the idea that God remains faithful to Israel and Judah are in error. Jeremiah 33, 23-26.